Would you look at that? Sitting right here at the end of the driveway, ready to greet. Hey, buddy. Hey, Laner. How you guys doing today? Coming over here to the high rollers, gonna get the hay racks back to our landlord. So thanks to him for letting us borrow them. Well, you wanna take bets? Is it gonna roll away? Hey. Hey, buddy. I don't know. Got it. How'd we do? How'd we do? You ride with me there, buddy? Oh! So that there's our, actually our Brent 744 wagon. So what our landlord does is, he's got a couple bins here, but we ended up storing everything in Area 21 for him. So whenever he needs corn for feed, he just hooks onto the wagon, goes to Area 21, weighs in a load, brings it over, and it works great. Kind of like a grain bank at a co-op. Oh, Blaze, how you doing, girl? How are you doing from the baby blue healer? to the vet blue healer. Okay, finally, gonna get this grain cart hopefully put away today. Meat and herb here at about noon. It's all cleaned up, it's all greased up, it's ready to be put away. After that, once I get back, I'm gonna hook the 8520 up to the ripper. That way I can get it pulled up here, blow it off, get it washed up. After that, we'll get the VT washed up, get both those items put away. And the little anhydrous bar also washed up. Get that put away. Start washing tractors up. Tractors we can do inside so it can be a little cooler out or if it snows or something crazy. We'll want to get the combines washed off. Uh, the Badger got the 790 about halfway washed. Get it washed up as good as you can. You know, nothing's ever going to be perfect. Always remember that. If it had to be perfect, it would never get done. Just got to be nice, but it can't be perfect because it'll never be perfect. Nobody's perfect. We've got a few waterways that we probably want to touch up this fall if we can. Another big thing we'd like to do this fall is uh, get some trees taken out of fence rows. They're just so pesky and annoying and they look horrible. Yeah, get that door. Get it, get it, get it. Geez, I wonder who left all this stuff out. Uh, couldn't be me. Love when you back out of a building and your antennas slap on the top of the building. That's always nice. Jeez, you're getting old, my guy. Run strong. Product. Three grain carts tucked in here nicely. A couple other items. Two seat tenders. Perfect. I think we'll still be able to get these out too in the spring. Four heads are away, 12 row, eight row, 12 row bean head, and 40 foot draper away, and all three grain carts are away. We're making progress. Old Saturday night live stream. So what's your bench? Well now that we're loading corn we go, what's your test weight? Just loading a couple trucks right now. Badger and Mustard hauled a load up to the corn plant this morning and then they went and got some fertilizer up in Fort Dodge. We're just getting the trucks loaded again. Then you're going to run one more load a day over to a different corn plant. Same distance away. Devin's getting the overhead loaded up. Badger's loaded. I'm going to get this truck weighed in and load this baby up. Hello. 
Quadius Maximus. First and foremost, Nick, upon the Honey Badger's request, flipped our PLC around because we had the wet bin over here and the dry bins over here. But when you're looking out at Area 21, the actual configuration is the wet bin on the south side and the two dry bins on the north side. just acknowledge clear close so you can see that loadout bin is full shut the dry leg off and we will shut the wet leg off done simple love it great hey good afternoon chief checking in i didn't know why i had such raccoon knives all the time man this yeah, you can definitely see it. Of course, I'm a sunglass kind of guy. It's been a great season. We're about ready to wrap up putting all the nitrogen needs on. All of our fertilizer will be applied, has been applied this fall of 21. It's growing season 22. This is my 43rd year of farming, and I have never put on all my fertilizer in the fall. Unbelievable. That was driven by Bryce, so we try to take advantage of that. My nephews want me to check in periodically. Got a new character in the, amongst everybody. That's right, they do call me Chief. So this is me, the Chief. I'm checking out, and we'll see you in the funnels. I got the Ripper hooked up to the 8520. You know, I think I'm gonna go do some disc ripping with this bad boy. I think she'll handle it. <laughs> oh, I'd barely be able to pull this thing two inches in the ground with this. But no, I just, I'm hooking it up so I can pull it up to the shop and start blowing it off and get it washed up. I would be kind of curious though, if you folded them up and just ran the, the center section, which is seven shanks, if it would pull it. It's about, about the exact same width of the tractor. I don't know, I mean, that's a heavy thing. You know, you'd be carrying all that extra heavy weight. You wouldn't have a problem getting very deep with all that extra weight on there, but I think it'd still be quite a pull. <laughs> the thing is a monster. The craziest part, Deer makes a bigger ripper than this. They make a 26 footer with two more shanks on it. Ah, oh, thing is huge. So I had the ripper up here and I noticed we had some wire that got in here. That is horrible. There was no way I'd be able to pull it out. So I had to undo all this, undo this so I could pull this out and it actually pulled out really easy. So I can get in there and get that cut out. Look at that. Are you kidding me? Okay, got it all back together. 
Looking good. What you are now witnessing is something that the honey badger never does. Are you seeing this honey badger? See that? Oh, what, what is he? What is he doing? What is he doing? Oh, 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 oh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! What? What is that? Putting tools away? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Yeah. Yeah. It's getting a little late out to start blowing the ripper off. Simplest projects always take longer than you think. Oh well, it's the way she goes. This might be the end of the video. I don't know. If it is, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the funnies.